Hello friend, welcome again to our next topic. That is, assay of ammonium chloride carried out by precipitation titration. So let's start this video. Assay of ammonium chloride carried out by precipitation titration. The assay of ammonium chloride, NH4Cl, can be determined through a variety of analytical methods, including gravimetric analysis, acid-base titration, and more. I'll describe a common method using an acid-base titration with sodium hydroxide, NaOH, as the titrant. Materials and reagents used. Ammonium chloride, NH4Cl, sample of unknown concentration. Sodium hydroxide, NaOH, solution of known concentration, titrant. Phenolphthalein indicator solution. Distilled water, burette, Erlenmeyer flask, stirring rod, Bunsen burner or hot plate. Procedure. First, sample preparation, weigh a known amount of the ammonium chloride sample accurately using an analytical balance. Record the mass of the sample. Second, dissolution, transfer the weighed NH4Cl sample into a clean, dry Erlenmeyer flask. Add a small amount of distilled water to dissolve the sample. If necessary, gently heat the flask to facilitate dissolution. Third, indicator solution, add a few drops of phenolphthalein indicator solution to the flask. Phenolphthalein will serve as the indicator for the titration. Fourth, titration. Fill the burette with the standardized sodium hydroxide, NaOH, solution. Fifth, titration process. Start the titration by carefully adding sodium hydroxide solution drop by drop into the flask while stirring the solution constantly. Ammonium chloride reacts with sodium hydroxide to form ammonia gas, NH3, which is released and can be detected by the phenolphthalein indicator. The reaction is as follows. NH4Cl plus NaOH to give NH3 gas plus NaCl plus H2O. Sixth, endpoint detection. Continue the titration until a permanent pink color appears in the flask, indicating that all the ammonium icons have reacted to form ammonia gas. This color change signifies the endpoint of the titration. Seventh, record volume. Record the volume of sodium hydroxide solution required to reach the endpoint. This volume is used for further calculations. Calculations Use the volume and concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution, along with the stoichiometry of the reaction, to calculate the concentration of ammonium chloride in the sample. The formula for calculating concentration is C1V1 equals C2V2, where C1 equals concentration of sodium hydroxide, known. V1 equals volume of sodium hydroxide solution used, recorded during titration. C2 equals concentration of ammonium chloride, unknown. V2 equals volume of ammonium chloride sample solution, known. Solve for C2 to determine the concentration of ammonium chloride in the sample. Remember to perform this titration carefully, ensuring accurate measurements and observations. Proper laboratory safety precautions should also be followed, including wearing appropriate protective gear and working in a well-ventilated area. Thanks for watching this video.